Hello everyone, so I'm going to do uh, an airport update. So I know it's been a bit of a while since I've actually last done one. I only managed now to get around to doing this, but since I've last done it, uh, my fleet's going quite massively now. I've got about uh, 60 plus aircrafts now in my fleet, and to be honest, I know a lot of them wouldn't be in the same place at the same time. It's mainly just because of their liveries, I've kind of put them in this group. So we're going to start off down here in what well, I'm going to say is the regional area of my airport. So start off with we have a US Airways A320 next to that we have the Sabine A321 in the Quality Flyers Group livery. Sorry about that, it's a bit shaky. Then we have the TWA DC9 followed by the British Airways 757 in the old livery. Then we have another US Airways the A319 followed by another A320 South African. Then we have the uh, LOTS Polish Airlines TU-154M. Then looking down in the middle here, we have the split livery Concorde. On one side we have Singapore Airlines. On the other we have British Airways. Then behind that we have a KLM Fokker 100. British Airways 737. I think it's a 200 series. A Delta Airlines 727-200, followed by a French-built Caravel LTU. Then, looking down here, we have two 707s, so we have the British, Air, uh, British Midlands, sorry. Then the Lakers, a Trident 2, British Airways, the Fokker 27, operated by British Midlands. The split, oh sorry, the hybrid livery of British Airways, where it's got the chest line of BOAC, and a Lakers BAC 111. Looking over here at the heavy section of the airport, we have a Tab of Portugal 747 200, two 747 SPs operated by a South African and Iraq. Then we have my, well, my only military jets, which is the C 5A Galaxy, which is quite a nice aircraft. Looking down here, we then have the 767 offered by TWA, which is a 300 series. We have the DHL DC8, the Tapa Portugal A320, sorry, A310 in the later livery. Then we have the cargo section of the airport, which, is a, which we have here is a Pan Am cargo, a UPS uh, MD11. A Lufthansa Cargo 747-200 and an MK Airlines 747-100. Now as we make our way around to the centre, we have another Pan Am, which is a 747-100, uh, which I think is in the Billboard Experimental livery, I'm not quite sure. Then we have the uh, KLM 747-400. Now we look down this kind of heavy area here, do a long shot. So we first up have a Finnair MD-11, followed by another Lufthansa 747-200. We have one of my favourites, which is a British Airways 747-100 in the hybrid liveries of British Airways and BOAC, with the name William Shakespeare on the front. Then we have Continental Airlines 747-100, an American West Airlines 747, and a Monarch DC-1030. On the other side of that, though, we also have another DC-1010, which is a road by Skytrain's Lager. We have a, I think it's my only 747-300, which I can't really say the name of this, I think it's Vargil, which is the Brazilian airline. We then have one of my favourite liveries of Pan Am, which is another 747-100 here, actually. Uh, then we have another KLM 747-200, which I think has got the name Anthony H. G Fokker on the front of it. Then we have the British Airways TriStar L1011, followed by another Delta Airlines MD11. As we move, move our way down, we have here a Saudi L1011, the British Airways Concorde, a Delta DC8, the Dan Air London. A300, and one of my other favourites, which is the Virgin 
seven, sorry, Virgin Atlantic 747, 200, which is called Maiden Voyage, with the painter, for like that, there, if you can see. Then as we move away over here to another section, we have a Sabine A340-300. We have two 767s here, one operated by United, one operated by Air New Zealand. We then have another LTU MD-11 and a Delta 747-100. In the middle here we have a Catherine Pacific 747-400. Then we have another US Airways A330. We have the Pan Am A300. The British Caledonian A310, followed by uh, another KLM A310, the uh, Pan Am L1011, the A310 operated by Pan Am, Singapore Airlines DC10, National Airlines 747-100. And that kind of concludes my airport update. So as you can see, quite a lot of aircrafts uh, from different places around the world. At one stage I will sort out a mat or layout for them, but yeah, so I might do another video later on showing my uh, modern fleet, because I do have a small modern fleet, don't really collect too many modern ones, but yeah, that concludes it, and I hope you enjoy this video.